Uh, obviously, we, we heard Van Dyke speaking there. Obviously, a lot of, of arrogance coming out of him, dishing United like that. He, he needs a re now, he needs a reminder himself. He's playing for clubs who won one title in 30 odd years. He's saying only one team to, wanted to win. Man United are buzzing with the point. Man United are in a difficult place. Like Liverpool have been in a difficult place for many a year. So maybe that bit of arrogance backfired on him today. I don't know if it was arrogance I, personally. It, that's arrogance. I that's I arrogance. Man, I just think you I... said Man United were buzzing. Only one team came to play. Yeah. Listen, I've come to many times here when I was at United, when Liverpool were in a tough place. Mm. And they were happy with the draw. Yeah, United will take them up. But I think the addition like that saying, oh, they're buzzing, they're only one team wanted to win. United have one or two chances, United are up against it. Mm. And sometimes players need a reminder when they're playing for clubs, like Liverpool, and everyone's saying Man United are this and that. Yeah, United are in a bad place, but for many a year, Man United were in a good place. And you I wouldn't be disrespecting dis clubs like he is. I think he's not disrespecting a club. I think he's disappointed at how Liverpool have performed, looking at the stats, looking at the way in which they controlled the game, I think he's thinking, well, if they had a higher line, if they had tried to maybe break us down, maybe we could have had counter-attacks. There weren't many counter-attacks for Liverpool today. It was mainly them controlling the game, trying to break United down. There were moments there where there were like eight, nine people in the line on the edge of the box. So we're talking That's about... Arrogance. That's arrogance. It's not arrogance, arrogance for me. Right. I don't think it's arrogance. It's just frustration. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it is frustration, but it's torn with, he's, when he's talking about Man United. As if, as if they'd turn up. They'd turn up and beat Man United. Well, listen, we were all expecting the worst, yeah. But you still have to go out and do it. That's what great teams do. And that's what teams who win championships every year do. The Man Cities or the Man United or the Liverpool of the 80s. He's, he's got to remember where he's coming from. Yeah. Am I right? Liverpool once in 30 odd years they won the league. One in 33. Right. He needs a reminder himself. Because sometimes you do get carried away yourself. Oh, we should be trying to beat Man United. As I said, I can only go back on my own experience. We played Liverpool many a time when Liverpool was struggling. And Liverpool would take a draw and they'd be happy. I've come here and took a draw and be happy. But you wouldn't be slagging the team what off going you, on. What would you want him to say, Roy? What would you want him to say? Would you want him to say, don't, don't I'm happy, yeah, no, I'm no, happy no, with a point against Man United who at this present no, but, moment aren't performing at the same level we are. I don't think he's disrespecting Man United saying, they're miles off the pace, the club's nowhere near it. He's saying... They're buzzing with the draw. There's home. only one team we we're wanted to come home. and win. We're at home. We expected to come here today and try and get a result. We expected them to come here with the notion of trying to win the game. I'm not saying Manchester United went out there and said, we're not trying to win today. But you find in the end... You, try, you find different ways to, to win a football match. Just because they had 30-odd shots or loads of possession in corners, that doesn't win your football matches. Mm. We've watched many a game here where a team would get one chance to score and we said, listen, they were clinical. And United had one or two chances towards the end. Do you think they showed ambition, Manchester United, today? No, I just thought they were under huge pressure and they sat in and they played to the to kind of the strengths they had today. It, it wasn't great to watch Man United today, but like we said before the game, if you offered United a draw, they would have been delighted with it. And Liverpool would have been disappointed. But it also arrogance comes into football and it can happen where you go away where you're disappointed with a draw, but sometimes you have to go back and go, you have to take the draws. You can't win every game of football. Even if you have all these chances, the bottom line is the most important stat is the scoreline. Every week we get stats thrown at us, possession. It's about putting the ball in the back of the net. That's why the strikers are vital. That's why they get all the big bucks. You've got to put the ball in the back of the net. So wherever but Man United buzzing or Man United this, Liverpool had opportunities and they didn't take them. That's their own fault. Nothing to do with Manchester United or the way Manchester United set up or Man United injuries or whatever it might be. And as I said, I've played Liverpool many a time. And let me tell you, they were pretty pleased with a draw. And you give them, you say, well, listen, fair play, no problem. So this idea... Oh, my, my, no, I no, I didn't, I didn't like his, I Roy, didn't like just, his message. Just, you just didn't like <laughs> no, it. Like, no, no, you no, I'm like telling you. Dissed, you felt like no. he dissed Man yeah, United. No, he that's did. what it is, right? Oh, he did. That's he got did. you a little bit. Yeah, he, 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 I, I think he's out of order, but listen, that's just... I don't think he did. I don't think he dissed Man United. <laughs> I right. think there's a level of respect well, we, there. I think there's respect. I think every footballer around the world has respect but we can disagree for Manchester on that. United. I'm not going to say dissing them. I just think he's disappointed that Liverpool didn't go out there today and do what they thought they would be able to do. It didn't work out for them. They tried their best. They couldn't break them down. Man United got a result. Well, we see him against Arsenal this week, so maybe Arsenal might come and try and win the game, you know? <laughs> <laughs>